Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Uh, it's been a little while since I've seen you on one of these videos. Um, sorry about that, life has taken a busy turn and if you've been following my Instagram, uh, you'll know that lately I've been posting some things as I've been getting back into practicing my fundamentals. I've still been playing all this time even though I've not been making videos and stuff. Uh, but the most part of my work has been editing virtual big band videos. That's what I've been doing a lot of the time for the Afro Latin Jazz Orchestra and our virtual Birdland series on a Sunday. And then some other side projects for Charlie Rosen's 8 bit big band and different things like that. And I've still been doing recording outside of those things and, you know, various bits and pieces and of course some teaching. But I've really gotten off of having a regular routine and practicing regularly because my schedule has been just been all over the place and just the video editing thing is an enormous amount of time spent and so I've just not been staying on top of my own practicing as much as I should so if you've been following my Instagram you'll know that I'm trying to get back to it right now and I made a post the other day about playing long tones and there are a few questions about it and honestly Playing long tones is not something I've done with any degree of regularity for quite some years. Uh, probably, I don't know, 10 or 15 years or more since I've really played them regularly. Long tones are one of those things we're always told we're supposed to practice them, but honestly I've never entirely been sure why. I can see some fairly obvious fringe benefits, but that's partly what we're here to discover now. So. Join me as I'm, you know, partly rebuilding my own playing and just also taking some time to experiment with some things. Let's play long tones every day for 30 days and see what it does for us. See if there's a particular way we should figure out to approach them. I have my ideas going in and that's what we'll do. Um, I'm going to play the same set of long tones every time, uh, at least to begin with. And that's going to be an expanding series, a Mr. Adams style expanding series, uh, starting from second line G, note lower, note higher, note lower, note higher, and so on and so forth. So it'll go up to a G at the top of the staff on the high end and down to trumpet low F sharp on the low end. Okay, I'm aiming to play these for 30 seconds each. Kind of a long, long time, but that's what I'm aiming to do. I mean to work on breath support and just consistency of tone and all of that good stuff. Um, I'm aiming to play these reasonably softly, but at a comfortable soft volume. I don't want to be pinching my lips and I don't want the, the sound to be dropping out. I'm going to go as soft as I can while keeping the notes steady. Okay? I've notated this set just in case you want to follow along at home. Uh, you know, please join me in this. While it'd be interesting for me to, for my own benefit, to play long times for 30 days and then make a video reporting back, I played long times for 30 days. I thought it might be more interesting for you to come along with me and try it out. So I've got a PDF of the specific set of long times that I'm playing linked in the description below. So you can download those and follow along in this first video, which is pre-recorded. Um, they'll also be on screen as I play them. And... Uh, you know, subsequent videos, I'm going to try and do this every day for 30 days and we can find out together what the benefits are, what the pitfalls are of playing these long tones and all see our own improvements over the course of 30 days. That's the idea. I haven't thought about it any more deeply than that. This was really just put together on a whim. So I'm going to get into playing these things. My metronome is going to be going. Personally, I'm counting these in 5-4. So I'm trying to play 30 seconds, 6 bars of 5-4 at 60 BPM. And with a 2 bar rest, a 10 second rest in between. I'm sure I probably won't make that at all times. Quite apart from anything else, it's quite hot in this room when I don't have the fan running, which I'm not running right now because I'm trying to keep the noise down. So I'll probably have to stop and, you know, mop my brow after a couple of notes here and there. Um, but that's where we're up to. Other than that, I'm, if I make mistakes, I'm going to start over. If I, you know, play a wrong note or count wrong or something like that, I'm not making any edits to this once I get into the playing part of it. 
so we can all play through together. You'll hear my metronome going, and hopefully it'll be fairly clear what we're doing. Okay? So, why don't you join me? This will be interesting. It'll certainly be good for the sharps. It'll be an interesting experiment to see what happens if we play these every day for 30 days. I'll see you at the other end. short or a little long? Oh well. Wrong note.
to mop my brow. It's hot in here without the fan on, but the fan's too noisy.
Tighten up now a little. How are you getting on?
Okay, there we have it. There's the first time through the set. Uh, far from perfect, a couple of mistakes here and there on my part. A couple of times I didn't get a good breath and wasn't able to maintain. A couple of times I just lost concentration and lost count. So I may have played notes short or long for that reason. And one occasion I think where I just skipped ahead in the pattern and played the wrong note. So a couple of times I started over um, but yeah, this is day one. Let's see what happens. So please join me again tomorrow. Um, it'll be roughly the same time. I'll establish the schedule as we get going. This was really all put together on a whim. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for day two. Take a bit of a breather and then you know what to do. Go practice. <laughs>